Hello, my name is Daniel McKinley and I'm here at Zia Comics in Las Cruces, New Mexico. And today I'm going to show you how to play the two to four player game Men at Work by Pretzel Games. So in Men at Work, you play the roles of constructors building uh, one of these buildings or a high rise, but you're not very good at it. You're still going to have a lot of fun building it. And what you have to build is determined by this deck of cards. For example, I will flip over the top card and using a combination of the face of the card you flipped and the back of the next card in the deck, it will tell you what you need to do. In this example, the back has a beam on it. So we will look at this and it will say new support on a girder plus touch any color. So in this I would put a new support on any girder, like this, and touch any color. Well, the back of this card has black or white, so I need to place either a black or a white girder. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's put, let's do white, and you'd balance between this. Now, I can't touch the white piece because it did say on another color. Then I leave that card face down, and it's the next player's turn to flip it over and read the next one. This one has a worker on it. So, if we look at the hard hat, this says, close to an edge. That means that I'm going to be placing a worker. And just like the previous example, this is on either purple or red, or orange. So you want to put that close to an edge. Let's see if I can do that for this demo. There we go. Now, these meeples are made really nicely and they have a rubberized cap on it uh, as a hard hat. There's also ones called beams and bricks, which sometimes you'll have to balance the beam or the brick on their hands. Or sometimes you might even have to balance an entire girder on their hands, depending on if they're a strong worker or not. There's all sorts of combinations of having to put new supports, new girders, placing them all around until things start falling over. Well, let's say what happens on your turn if a piece falls over like so, then you lose one of your safety certificates. If you lose all of them, you're out of the game. But however, it is the next player's turn to clean up your mess. They would take this tool and their hands and they would have to remove the fallen pieces from the construction site. If they happen to knock over something in the process, well, they lose a safety certificate as well. This continues until there's one person remaining or the deck is completed. Now about a third of the way through the game, you'll get the foreman card. When this comes up, if you were to place the highest standing structure, girder or any other kind, then you would get a seal. At the end of the game, any remaining players uh, will score their number of seals that they get and whoever gets the most of these awards is the winner. So that's how you play Men at Work. It's a really fun dexterity game, surprisingly thematic, really silly, and the components are just phenomenal. So, if you'd like to give it a try, or would like to come see it as a demo for yourself, come by Zia Comics in Las Cruces, New Mexico, where we can show you how to play Men at Work. Uh -huh.